we're trying something a little different today. This week, our featured program is about pizza and how it has changed and grown and spread all over the world. So in that program, you can hear about the history of pizza and how people eat pizza all around the world. And so in honor of that, I wanted to show you how I make pizza at home. So today, we're, I have all the ingredients and we're gonna make some pizza. So first things first, um, I want to put on this apron, which you'll notice is probably, is the uh, Union Jack flag of England, United Kingdom. So I wanna keep, you know, the flour off my clothes. Okay, so to make our pizza, I use a recipe from my very old recipe book. And I got this when I was probably about 10 years old. And you can see it's well loved, it's got stains, it's falling apart. So um, yeah, and even when I, when I hold it open, it falls right open to the pizza dough recipe. So um, my pizza dough recipe uses yeast, uh, got some warm water, uh, some flour, and some sugar, salt, and vegetable oil. So I've got all of those ingredients all together. I'm gonna go get a bowl and we'll mix them together. The first thing I have to do is dissolve this yeast into some warm water. So I've got yeast. I'm gonna pour in this warm water. Stir that up a bit. So the yeast is what is going to make the pizza dough rise. And uh, I like a thicker crust on my pizza dough. Some people really like a thin crust. I think some of it depends on where you were born or grew up. So um, Chicago is very well known for a thick crust pizza or, a, or Detroit is also known for a thick crust pizza. But actually some people in Chicago uh, think Chicago is known for a very thin crust pizza. So, and people have very strong opinions on their pizza and their crust. So, uh, yeah, be careful. All right, so we've got this yeast dissolved. Now we're gonna, now we're going to mix in everything else. We've got one cup of warm water, two and a half cups of all purpose flour. Half cup. Okay, so we've got our flour in here and we need two tablespoons of vegetable oil. Now I'm gonna use olive oil because I think it tastes good on pizza. Um, and really, I think whatever oil you use is just fine. So we've got our two tablespoons of olive oil and then just a teaspoon of salt and sugar. And I'm not even going to measure that. Some sugar and, we don't want too much salt. That's not good, right? All right. So we're gonna mix this all together. Sometimes it makes kind of a mess with all this flour moving around. And if you've ever made bread, oh, there's the oven. I started it, I started it heating up for when we're going to bake this crust. This recipe doesn't call for this dough to be kneaded, but I am going to knead it. I'm gonna move this book out of the way. I try to clean up as I cook, but, or bake. Uh, do, do you bake a pizza or do you cook a pizza? We're gonna get some flour out here. Pull this dough down. It's so very sticky. I know that probably uh, some of you are looking at my pizza recipe and thinking, 
that is not how pizza dough is made or pizza dough takes a longer time or um, you know it's stretchier or that's not how you're supposed to make it well um, I just make this I think we've got this pretty well mixed in we do need to let the dough sit for a little bit so that it can um, hold its shape and so that it can grow a little bit we've got a cute little dough ball I'm going to put it in this bowl and now we need to rest for a little bit. I'll let this dough rest. So while we're waiting for the dough to rest and to rise a little bit, I like to use this time to clean up the kitchen and pick out my toppings and make sure that everything is ready for when this crust goes in the pan. So I'm gonna clean up a little bit. I'll also show you the toppings that I picked out. We're gonna have a veggie pizza. Um, of course, sauce is what you start with. That'll go on the crust. Some people like to make their own sauce. I like to go out of a container. I have a beautiful red pepper and some gigantic mushrooms. And of course, you really need cheese on a pizza. This is the kind that we usually get in a bag, but you can use any kind of cheese, really. And so I'm gonna clean the kitchen while this dough rests. Okay, so the dough has rested, and I'm gonna make it up into the pizzas, the pizza crust. Oh, yes. I can feel it's a little, it's a little puffy. You can see a little bit of bubbles making it stick down here. I know a lot of people do the, you know, on their fist and then they throw it into the air and that's how you see it on TV. And I know this doesn't make the best crust, but it makes a good enough crust that my family likes. And so this is how we do it. I like to give it a little pinch up the sides so that it makes a nice outside crust. And you can see, look at this beautiful pizza crust. All right, I'm gonna put this in the oven uh, at 400 degrees. I'm not really sure what that is in Celsius, but I'm gonna put this in the oven for about 10 minutes until it's got kind of a little brown on it and it's not crispy, but it's definitely baked because otherwise the toppings and juices will go down into it and that doesn't taste very good for the soggy crust. It's time to start cutting the veggies. I can smell the crust baking in the oven and it smells delicious. Uh, maybe I should have put some more seasoning in it, but it's okay, it's just a pizza. So we're gonna cut these veggies. Sometimes when I'm cutting veggies, I have kids come in here and steal the veggies that I'm cutting. And I did, maybe you noticed that I called them veggies instead of vegetables. And that's just a kind of slang way to talk about vegetables. Maybe you've heard of a veggie pizza, like a big nice chunk, chunk vegetable. You don't have to get fancy with pizza. That's why it's amazing. If you listen to the Pizza Around the World program, or Pizza, P pizza the World's Food program, you will know that pizza began as a street food in Italy. So poor people, or people who didn't have a kitchen, essentially, um, they would eat a lot of street food, and they, people, the street food sellers started selling bread with toppings on it because then you get all your food groups, all your main food groups, and you have a great meal that you can just walk around with. And we still have that today, right? We love getting some pizza and walking around. Now, I don't cut toppings too carefully. I'm not a chef. I just make pizza. So I don't worry too hard if it's going to look fancy or anything like that. I just like doing it. I really love mushrooms on a pizza. It's such a great taste. There's just one more minute left for that crust and then we can start to put toppings on the pizza.
You can hear the oven beeping, which means it is time for that crust to come out. So let's take a look, see if it's ready. Ooh, it does look good. It's got some brown on the top. I think it is ready to come out. Oh, it's very hot. Ooh. Now that the crust is out, we are gonna put some toppings on it. I'm a very careful pizza maker. I like to have all of the edges on the side as even as possible. I like to put a little bit of cheese on at the beginning so that it's that it makes the topping stick a little better, I think. Now, I like a lot of toppings on my pizza. I think the more toppings, the better. Not everyone likes so many toppings. That looks pretty good. I like to put on, I like to put on raw peppers. I like the little crunch. All right, and now the best part, adding a bunch of cheese. Don't worry, I'll get you in the middle there. Now we have our pizza ready to go into the oven again. And this time when it comes out, we're gonna eat it. So I don't know about you, but I'm hungry and I'm ready to eat this pizza. So let's cut it up, let's have a slice. Will it be delicious? Let's see. Mmm, cheesy. Mmm. I wish you could taste it. So good. A nice crisp crust, some crunchy vegetables, some delicious mushrooms. Yep, this is definitely my kind of pizza. Mmm. Mmm. I love that sauce. Do you have pizza? Do you make pizza? What do you have on your pizza? Tell us about it in the comments below. And if you liked this video, let us know that too. Hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell so that you always get a notification when we have a new video up. We wanna hear from you. Let us know.